if Quebec and if Canada became leaders in creating um, a greener, better world for me and all other kids. Greta Thunberg isn't alone. Hundreds of young activists in Montreal alongside the Black Lives Matter and migrant rights movements are striking for action on climate change and urge that we continue our efforts for a cleaner and more inclusive planet. We're not satisfied at all. We were clearly heard last year with half a million people in, in the streets. There was no way that they didn't hear us, but we were ignored. This time last year, half a million Montrealers participated in the largest climate march in Quebec history alongside Swedish activist Greta Thunberg. They had planned to up the pressure last spring, but then COVID-19 hit. This year, despite having to follow social distancing, protests, walkouts and sit-ins are expected to take place over the weekend in several Canadian cities, including Vancouver, Ottawa and Halifax, hoping to bring climate change solutions to the forefront of the conversation. It's a disgrace and it's trying to take us for fools that when we talk about Canada as a climate leader, uh, but in fact we are one of the biggest producers and exporters uh, of, of oil in, in the world. Organizers are also calling on the federal and provincial governments to defund the police and help migrants be released from prisons amid the ongoing pandemic. It's important to reinvest in our community, especially in the context of racialized, marginalized people and climate change. These are extreme crises that, are, that need to be dealt with today and not 10 years from now. Activists say they're worried about COVID-19, but more worried about future generations. I don't consider myself an activist. I consider myself a survivalist. People are not taking this situation seriously enough. We were here last year and we thought it was a good idea to come again and fight again for climate change. I'm here because I have a daughter and I care for all the people uh, that won't have climate justice. In Montreal, Melina Jubilaro, City News.